Let us pray. Father, we want to say thank you to you. Indeed, it is clear that you are the doer of all things. Thank you, Lord, for putting new songs in your children's mouth. Thank you for the testimonies that have been shared. Thank you for journey mercy. Thank you for healing. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Thank you for provision. Father, we give you praise in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that these testimonies, they remain permanent in the name of Jesus. The ministry of the devil to steal, to kill, and destroy testimony will not find its way near them in the name of Jesus. These testimonies will give back to many more testimonies in Jesus' name. And as many that are sitting down there and are saying they wish that they would be here testifying, Father, please let their home be next in the name of Jesus. Surpass every expectation in Jesus' name. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Tonight we are talking about God's glory. If you believe you are going to experience glory, can you shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. Tonight I know God is about to promote somebody because we have God's servant in the house. God is going to use the mighty. But before he comes up, we are going to worship God. But before we worship God tonight, I just want you to take a step forward. Sit at the seat in front of you. If you're staying at the left side, you can come over the side because it's going to be it's going to be an encounter. You're going to have an encounter tonight. You're going to meet with God. But we just have to put the hearts in order as we do yeah. this. Can we just rise up as the usher with the red and let's sit in front of the seat. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands and begin to tell them, Lord, tonight meet me. Lord, meet me at the point of my need. If you are behind any seat, please, can you step forward? If you're behind any seat, step forward. Step forward. The Holy Ghost is already here. Lift up your voice. Somebody say, oh, Lord, let my heaven open. This Father, is the last the of Friday of the Father, year. Lord. This is the last Friday of this program. Lord, I've been caught, but today I want my testimony. Lord, I've been coming. Let my chapter be open. Let the glory of my house that has been covered, let it be reviewed. Lord, Lord, review yourself to me and my household. Let there be open heaven. Let there be open heaven. Oh Lord, let my heaven open. Lift up your right hand. Say, Oh Lord, oh Lord let my heavens let open. My heavens Lord, Lord, let your glory, let come. glory come. Lord, Lord lift up your Jesus. voice and begin to make that prayer. Let, let there be an open heaven. Let there be an open let heaven. Be an heaven that will review your open glory. Open let the heavens open. Let the heavens open. Let the heavens open. In the, name of, heaven, of In the name of Jesus, we pray. In the name of Jesus. Be the way exalted, O Lord, above all heaven. Let's talk to him. Be the way exalted, O Lord, above all heaven. Can you say? Let your glory be. Say hi. 
Alléluia, Alléluia, Alléluia. Let's lift up our voice and worship Him tonight. Glory, just take a position and tell the Lord, meet me. Come on, let somebody meet, take a position in this church. Face a corner, just somewhere as the Lord meets me. Akabana Kabara Kwasha, the Labarabada, Lekado Sata Labaratiana Kwasa Labada, Lord meets me in the service. Rikabadu Sata Labada, Ekabano Satina Tina, Eswara Patiana Kwasha, the Labakanosa, Zapara Kwatana Napatana, Zutana Parana. Lord, meet me. Oh, Lord, meet me. Oh, Lord, meet me in the service. Oh, Lord, give me my testimony. Oh, Lord, I need an open door. Lift up your voice and say, Lord, meet me in the service. Meet my family. Meet my father's house. Meet my business. Lord, we have not to seek the Lord of Jacob in faith. Oh, Lord, miss me. In today's service, let there be a turn around. Let your glory be to me. Oh, Shatala Bakapaya Bagadasha. Swatala Badasha. Ezukuna Swatata Nekwasya. Ezwara Badosha. Oh, Lord, let my heavens open. Oh, Lord, miss me in the service. Oh, Lord, miss me in the service. Lord, you met Hannah in the service. Lord, you met Hannah in the service. Lord, you met the pregnancies in the service. Lord, let the service service my life. Let the service give me a breakthrough. Oh, Lord, let my heavens open. 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 Lift up your right and say, Oh, God. Oh Somebody lift up your right and say, Oh Lord, oh Lord. every hindrance is to my testimony in the service. service. Somebody say, Cut fire, Cut fire, Cut fire. fire. Listen, this service is low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This service is holy. Yeah, the yeah, only yeah. thing the devil will do yeah. is to hinder. Yeah. But that's yeah. what the blood is to show. Somebody shut fire. fire. Everything fire. that accompanies me to fire. hinder me, every I bill. command you to every catch fire. Let the fire of the Lord catch fire. In the name of Jesus, every impediment, every obstacle, of the weekend, in chapter, in vocation, against me, in the service, let them catch fire, catch fire, fire. In the name of Jesus. Mabra kutu kulia libre gede ga santa liga ba lebro kutu kaliba le gede mari kuku santa lia maliga ba santa lia lebro kutu kalia leke te kaliga ba ma soto liga ba leke te kalegede every walk of darkness around me catch fire now fire in the name of Jesus every manifestation of the works of the enemy catch fire now in the name of Jesus 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 fire of God in the name of Jesus catch fire now 
in the name of Jesus. Every thank you, Jehovah. Every veil. Let's be your name, o Lord. In the name of in Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Why help me? Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Everlasting Father, the ruler, our defender, ancient of days, I am that I am, the land of the tribe of Judah, the rose of Sharon, the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. We bless your name, we magnify you tonight. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Father, for those testimonies. Thank you, Lord. Lord, this is your doing, and it is marvelous in our sight. Yes, Lord. You yes, have Lord. kept us all through this year Thank till this you, very Jesus. moment. Thank you, Lord. The last Friday in this year. Thank you, Lord. Daddy, glory be to your name and the mighty Hallelujah. name of Jesus. Lord, tonight is the fifth Friday in the five Fridays of glory. Our heart cry tonight is that you breathe upon us. Amen. Lord, breathe upon us and the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Lord, when you breathe upon a man, there's no place for shame. Yes, sir. It's all about your glory. Yes, Lord. And your glory. Yes, Lord. And your glory. Yes, Lord. Father, that is what we have come to experience tonight in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Daddy, speak to us again tonight. Amen. I yield myself to you. Make me a blessing tonight. Amen. Lord, that's what you want us to hear. Father, send to us expressly in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. By the time this meeting is over, oh Lord, let it be evident that we have had an encounter with you. Amen. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Hallelujah. For in Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we have prayed. Amen. Let somebody shout, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody that is expectant tonight, shout, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you know and you are sure that tonight is your night of glory, shout the loudest, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord bless you. Please be seated. Help me to welcome your neighbor on the right and on the left. Welcome them to church. Welcome them to the fifth edition of this amazing program. Amen. I want to thank the Almighty God for the privilege of standing here tonight. Amen. And I, of course, sincerely want to appreciate my daddy and my mentor. And of course, our mommy here. For this opportunity to be here. Mommy, we appreciate you. I know that he is watching me now and I know he's praying for me. So I I'm sure that um, the Lord is going to use me tonight to be a blessing to somebody. Amen. Amen. All right. Tonight, in the next few minutes that we have, we'll be sharing the word and we'll be praying. Um, it's the fifth edition of the Five Nights of Glory. And of course, the Bible says, better at the end of the matter than the beginning thereof. So that is why I know 
that tonight the Lord is going to do a special thing in our lives in the name of Jesus. I um, may also announce to you that tonight is only a forerunner to what is going to happen tomorrow. Amen. In case you have been thinking whether you'll be in church tomorrow or not, please make up your mind now that you'll be in church because whatever you see tonight is only a forerunner, is a foretaste of what the Lord is going to do here tonight. I mean, tomorrow in the mighty name of Jesus. And as the Lord is rounding off the year with us, you know, the Bible says in Psalm 65, verse 11, that I crown the year with his goodness, you know, and apart drop fatness. I know that the Lord is crowning his, this year with his glory for you in the mighty name of Jesus. So don't miss out on, on anything that the Lord is said to do or else you find yourself to blame. Amen. That will not be your story in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. All right, tonight I'm going to share with us, if you want to call it no more shame, Amen. Or you want to call it from glory to glory. Hallelujah. And if you like, you can call it no more shame because I'm moving from glory to glory. But one thing is certain that whatever represents shame around your life ends tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. And the glory of the Lord is taking over in Jesus' name. So quickly, let's turn our Bibles to Joshua chapter 5. Joshua chapter 5. I'll be reading from verse 2 to 9 quickly. Joshua 5, 2-9. At that time, the Lord said to Joshua, Make flint knives for yourself and circumcise the sons of Israel again the second time. So Joshua made flint knives for himself and circumcised the sons of Israel at the hill of the first kings. And this is the reason why Joshua circumcised them all the people who came out of Egypt who were males, all the men of war had died in the wilderness on the way after they had come out of Egypt. For all the people who came out of out had been circumcised, but all the people born in the wilderness on the way as they came out of Egypt had not been circumcised. For the children of Israel walked 40 years in the wilderness till all the people who were men of war who came out of Egypt were consumed because they did not obey the voice of the Lord, to whom the Lord swore that he would not show them the land which the Lord had sworn to their fathers that he would give us, a land flowing with milk and honey. Verse 7, Then Joshua circumcised the, their sons, whom he raised up in their place, for they were uncircumcised, because they had not been circumcised on the way. So it was, when they had finished circumcising all the people, that they stayed in their places in the camp till they were healed. Verse 9, Then the Lord said to Joshua, This day I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you. Therefore, the name of the place is called Gilgal to this day. This day, the 30th of December, 2022, the Lord has rolled away every reproach from your life in the mighty name of Jesus. If that sounds like you, you will shout a better amen. amen. Now, let me start by saying that your shame or your reproach does not glorify God in any way. If there's anything God wants to protect, he wants to protect his glory. And if truly you're a child of God, then God has a stake in your life. And may I tell you what the stake of God is? His name. In Genesis chapter 1, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, the Bible says, Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. So you are in God's image. Whatever happens to you affects God. I say that again. Whatever happens to you affects God, believe it or not. As long as you're a child of God, anything that happens to you affects God. God is interested in your status. In Genesis, in the Act chapter 2, Act chapter 2, verse 27, the Bible says, Because thou will not leave my soul in hell, neither will thou suffer thy only one to see corruption. So God will not allow you to see corruption. God will you can also replace that corruption with shame. God will not allow you to see shame. He will not leave your soul in hell. What happens in hell? Languishing. What happens in hell? Pain, sorrow. And he has given us a word. He has said, He will not leave your soul in hell, and he will not allow his only one to see corruption. Now, going back to our text, God said to, to Joshua, I gave, I mean, from that story, I'm sure you are, very, you are quite familiar with that account. God gave an instruction to Joshua. Go and circumcise these people the second time because of the experience they had. A number of them, I mean, virtually all of them were not circumcised. And God said something specifically that this day, 
this reproach, the reproach of Egypt is rolled away from you. That means there's something that they brought from Egypt that was not supposed to go with them into the promised land. So today is the 30th day of December, 2022. So there are certain things that must not cross over into 2023 with you. And that is why I believe the Lord has put this program together. And that is one of the things the Lord is going to address tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. So as we are about to enter 2023, you can be sure that that garment of failure will not go with you in the mighty name of Jesus. That garment of indebtedness will not go with you in the mighty name of Jesus. That shame of disappointment will not go with you in the mighty name of Jesus. In verse 9, the Bible said, Then the Lord said to Joshua, This day I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you. I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt. Whatever represents the reproach of Egypt, tonight marks their end in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. As 2022 is rolling away, God is saying to you, shame is rolling away in the name of Jesus. Reproach is rolling away in the mighty name of Jesus. Indebtedness is rolling away in the mighty name of Jesus. Disappointment is rolling away in the mighty name of Jesus. Sickness is rolling away in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, dealing with reproach, Dealing with reproaches. Now, we are in a, in a kingdom of doing. You know, if you, if, for example, in, in Acts chapter 16, Acts chapter 16, verse 30, when Paul and Silas were, were in prison, you know, they were liberated. Now, the jailer asked them, say, men and brethren, say, what shall I do? He says, what shall I do to be saved? So, the man had an understanding that there's something that he needs to do to be saved. So, in this kingdom, we're in the kingdom of doing. When, when, when God appeared to Cornelius in Acts chapter 10, he told him, when the angel appeared to him, he said to him, send for Peter, he will tell you what you must do. So there are certain things that you must do in order for you to get what the Lord has planned for you. Our work with God is a work of covenant. And as long as it's a covenant, then there's, I mean, for every covenant there are parties. So there's something that you need to do, there's, some, there's something that you, I, I have to do as an individual, there's something that God has to do. So ditto for you. If God is saying to you that, he said, if you are willing and obedient, you will hear the good of the land, for example. So there's a part of you that must be willing and be obedient for you to hear the good of the land. The good of the land is there. God has made the good available. Now it's up to you. Praise the name of the Lord. So what are those things that we need to do for us to ensure that this reproach, this reproach, this shame is rolled away? Number one thing that is required of you and I is to get angry with that condition. As long as we are celebrating that condition, as long as we are romancing that condition, then that means we are enjoying it. That's the meaning. So you must get angry with that condition. You must stop explaining failure. No. Jabez got tired of his own condition. In 1 Chronicles chapter 4, 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10, the Bible says, And Jabez called on the Lord God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand will be with me, and that you will keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. The Bible says, so God granted him what he requested. Now, when you look at the life of Jabez here, Jabez will have died. Nobody will have known about him. But because he took a step, he confronted that situation. I'm no longer interested in this thing. I mean, I don't want it again. And the Bible says that the Lord granted him what he requested. So in other words, if he had not requested, there was nothing for God to grant. And that is why some people, you see, I mean, you can see our number here tonight. But some people, somebody is somewhere now lamenting and complaining and saying no manner of things. And yet, he, the place where he's supposed to go, where God will meet him at the point of his need, he has refused to go. He said, come unto me, all you that labor and every lady, I will give you rest. God is the almighty God, he won't, but he won't impose himself on anyone. There's a place of coming. If he has said, come, until you come, he won't do whatever you want, I mean, you, you want him to do. Praise the name of the Lord. So Jabez called upon God, and the Bible said God granted him what he requested. And that is why I know as you have called up, as you have come here tonight, the Lord is going to grant you every of your desires in the mighty name of Jesus. As you request, as you demand of him, he's going to grant you your desires in the mighty name of Jesus. Anna cried to God. In 1 Samuel chapter 1, 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 15, the Bible says, But Anna answered and said, No, my Lord, I am a woman of sorrowful spirit. The man of God had told her, had, had accused her that she was drunk early in the morning because of the way she was praying. And the, man, the woman said to, to the man of God, I'm a woman of sorrowful spirit. I'm, I'm not drunk. 
I'm here to seek God. I'm here to, 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 uh, to tell God that I'm tired. I'm here to, to, to tell God that God enough is enough. And until you get to that level at times, there are certain situations that will not change. Amen. Until you get to that level, there are some situations that will not turn around. Because it will be as though you are enjoying it. As though you are managing it. Some people, they manage their situation. They manage, their, they explain their failures. They make excuses for the devil. Even though the devil is tormenting them, but then they are still, they are still having reasons why the devil should keep tormenting them. Amen. When the Bible says, all things that pertain to life and godliness has been given to you. So, it's up to you. So, you must be tired of that situation if you want God to intervene. You must be tired. You must be ready to say, okay, God, enough is enough. The prodigal son, he was there with the pigs and, you know, until he said, I will arise. Until he made up his mind that he will arise. And he didn't only say it, he actually arose. So, some of us, we have some wishes. Oh, how I wish I can just take some time off and just seek the face of God. Maybe just pray and fast. Tomorrow I'm going to fast. And by the time it is 11 a.m., your tummy is already biting you and you're like, maybe I'll do this thing tomorrow. Maybe I'll do this thing tomorrow. And tomorrow will never come. Praise the name of the Lord. So that means you are not ready. But until you get to that point that, well, you know, if anything, whatever is going to happen, let it happen. Whatever is going to happen, let it happen. And that was the situation Anna found herself. She said, I'm a woman of sorrowful spirit. Whatever, you, if you like, call me a drunk. If you like, call me whatever. Call me a mad woman. I know what I want. But at the end of the day, did she get what she wanted or not? So you need to get to that level that God enough is enough. Number two, it's important for you to circumcise your heart. It may be painful, but it is very, very necessary. In Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 16, Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 16, the Bible says, Therefore, circumcise the foreskin of your heart and be stiff necked no longer. So there's a place of circumcision. That was the instruction God gave to them. So before you move into, into the promised land, before you get to where you are going, there is need for you to circumcise. These people were adults. God knew, even for, for children that are yet to know, I mean, to know pain. You, when you circumcise a little child, you know, you know how painful it is. But now I'm talking about adults. So it's a painful experience, but it is something that is needed for you to enter into that glory. Because it will be a contamination. And God does not want anything to, to contaminate your blessing. In Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 4, the Bible says, Circumcise yourselves to the Lord and take away the foreskins of your heart. So there's a place of circumcision. There are certain things that you need to do away with. If God must manifest himself in your life, if the glory of God must show forth in your life, your hand is not supposed to be found in certain things. They are calling people that have done this, your name is there. They are saying in that particular business, you are there. And you call yourself a child of God. And yet you want the glory of God to manifest? No. So before God rolled away their reproach, before God rolled away that thing, he told them, circumcise yourself first. It was after they did the circumcision that was when God said, well, today, this reproach, the reproach of Egypt, is rolled away. So, until there is circumcision, there is no rolling away of reproach. That is the meaning. And you, interestingly, the Lord said the same thing to Abraham in Genesis chapter 17. When you read the account of Abraham, in Genesis chapter 17, verse 1, he said, walk before me and be thou perfect. And when you read further down to verse 11, he said to him, today, you are going to circumcise yourself. And after that, he made a covenant with him. Genesis chapter 17, verse 11. The Bible says, And you shall be circumcised in the flesh of your foreskins, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and you. So that covenant was not established until Abraham was circumcised. Until he was circumcised. The covenant was not established. So there is something that, there is something that will always happen after that painful experience. So, maybe some of you are here listening to me tonight and you are passing through that phase of circumcision. I want to congratulate you that after that pain, it is your glory. Somebody did not hear me. Amen. You are not passing through that pain for the fun of you. You are passing through it because God is taking you to another level of glory in the mighty name of Jesus. And His covenant upon your life shall be established in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number three, you must be ready to seek God with the whole of your, the whole of your heart. 
You must be ready to seek him with the whole of your heart. His glory rubs on you easily when you are in his presence, when you seek him. Of course, you know the story of Moses. The Bible says that when he came down from the mountain, they couldn't behold his face. His face shone. So they had to cover his face with, with veil. And what was it that happened? Because he was in the presence of God. So every time you stay in the presence of God, you can be sure that God will rub his glory on you. You want the glory of God, stay in his presence. So there is no way you will stay in his presence and you come back and be, your life will be the same again. You know it. Take, you just take, just watch it. Those times that you fast, you know, and you pray. Not that you are fasting because you, maybe there is no food at home. No. Not because of that. You are fasting because you are seeking the face of God. You want, you really want to seek God. Temptations were coming and you are saying no. And you took out some time, you prayed. When you come back, you, within you, you know. Even the thing that you pray for that you have not received, you have not received answer. There is a conviction, there is, a, there, there is this peace, there is this conviction within you that I know I have encountered God. So there is no way you stay in his presence and you will remain the same again. In Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17, Proverbs 8, 17, the Bible says, I love those who love me and those who seek me diligently will find me. As long as you seek him, you will find him. Now the problem is, are we seeking him? So his glory is available. If only we will seek him. Now how do you seek him? You seek him in prayers. In 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 1, 1 Samuel chapter 1 from verse 12 to 13, the Bible says, And it happened as she continued praying before the Lord, talking about Hannah, that Eli washed her mouth. Now, in Anna spoke in her heart, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore, Eli thought she was drunk. Now, look at that verse 12. The Bible says, And it happened as she continued praying before the Lord. So, prayer is a continual thing. You do it continuously. Not that I prayed yesterday because of yesterday's prayer is enough. We are having five, week, five Fridays of glory. I've attended four. I think that's, that's it. That is my five. I've attended three. That's enough. 60%. Me. 80%. No. When you work with God, do it 100%. You sow your seed in the morning, sow in the evening. You don't, because you don't know the one that will germinate. Hallelujah. So, Anna prayed continually. Don't forget, the Bible says every year they went to Shiloh. So, you don't know the particular Shiloh that will give birth to Samuel. So, that is why. And I tell you something. I tell people, there are no two services that are the same, even if they preach the same message. Because you don't know the one that God has ordained for you. You don't know. So, that particular day that you don't feel like going to church, watch it. That particular day that I've been going... Today, let me rest. So, and when you rest, truly, when you rest, ask yourself after you have rested, whether you actually rested, number one, then what was it that you actually achieved within that period? You'll be able to account for it. And there's this condemnation within you that if I had known, I would have, like for, if, for people that are children of God, I'm talking about for those people that are children of God, not people that are just going to church so that in case mommy did not see me, she would ask me, I didn't see you yesterday. No. It's about you and your God. Praise the name of the Lord. So you must be ready to seek him with the whole of your heart. Seek him in prayer. Seek him in his house. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 6 says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. That scripture tells me that there is a time God may be found. And there may be, there is a, there's another time he may not be found. Not that God has gone somewhere. <laughs> God is, is the same yesterday, today and forever. He does not change. He's changeless. He's ageless. So we are the ones that are displaced. But there are certain times that you, you will have his attention. There are times you won't have his attention. So you seek him in his house. Not because, not that you, not you, you don't seek him online when you have access to physical meeting. Some people may be online because that is the only thing that is permissible for them at that point. But somebody is li living next to the church and say, well, want me to stroll down there. <laughs> Let me not go. Something, something is happening. Nothing is happening. God will not soil his own name. It's not when you are coming to church that something will happen. No. No. And in case anything happens, you, have, you only know the one that has happened. You don't know what could have happened. So God, is, God will never leave himself without a witness. No. Praise the name of the Lord. So whatever we do, we do for ourselves, not for God. We need to have that understanding. 
So when you seek him, you seek him for yourself. When I seek him, I seek him for myself. Number four. Don't forget that his name is I am that I am. So if you serve him, he's I am. If you don't serve him, he's I am. If you worship him, he's I am. If you don't worship him, he's I am. If you give, he's I am. If you don't give, he's I am. You can't increase him. You can't reduce from him. Amen. Number four. In any case, he's the one that has the glory. And we are the ones that need the glory. He doesn't need our We don't even have any glory. Hallelujah. Number four. Obey his instructions. Your willingness must be backed by obedience. You know, imagine the Israelites saying that, God, why should you tell us to circumcise ourselves? You know, today we are in the era of, you know, rationalization. You, hear, you read something in the Bible. Not even that you hear from the mouth of the pastor now. You read in the Bible and some people are like, why should that thing be in the Bible self? Why? And because of somebody that doesn't have any, business, any work to do, he's online and he have, maybe he has free data from somewhere or he has access to Wi-Fi and he begin to post all manner of nonsense on social media and you are also listening to him. You that you are grounded, you are from, you, you are from a tribe. You are listening to him and you are listening to somebody that doesn't, that doesn't have any bearing and he's saying something and you are following that person and you are healing him. God will have mercy on you. So there is a willingness, I mean, your willingness must be backed by obedience. So if they are said to God that, well, God, we can't circumcise, just leave us the way we are, that means that reproach shouldn't have been rolled away. That's the meaning. If they had said, God, we are, not we are not going to circumcise ourselves, just leave us the way we are, then that statement would not have emerged. Nothing like today the reproach of Egypt. They will have died without reproach. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19 says, if you are willing and obedient, Isaiah 1 19, you shall eat the good of the land. So you may desire it, but still be disobedient then that means you won't get the desired results. So there's an instruction from, for every next level. We need to understand that. For every next phase of your life, for every next level that you're going to experience, there is always an instruction. If you are not going to see shame. In John chapter 2, John chapter 2 verse 5, the Bible says, His mother has said to the servant, Whatsoever he says to you, do it. Whatever he says to you, do it. Imagine those people say, no, we are asking for wine. You are asking us to go and fill water pot. Then, the end result will have been shame. <laughs> because the shame is the reward of disobedience. Imagine those who are saying, well, we are talking about wine. Don't you understand? Wine, W-I-N-E. Don't you know what wine means? You are asking us to, to fill the pot with water. You know? At the end of the day, the, 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 the captain of the, of the ceremony said, why? I mean, normally everybody brings the best wine for us. Why are you bringing? So that means every time, every time you obey him, then the glory will always speak out. The glory will always show forth. I mean, that was glorious. They were, I'm sure they were commending the man. Maybe some after the wedding, they will have come to me, the bridegroom, that, that wine that you used during your wedding, can you tell us the story where you got it from? And I'm sure the man will have pointed them to Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. It will have been an opportunity for him to evangelize if he was smart enough. The last point, acquire necessary skills. Knowledge is power. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. Hosea 4 6 says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also will reject you from being priest for me. My people are destroyed for lack of, God's people, not unbelievers. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So there is a need for you to acquire skills. There is a need for you to acquire knowledge. As we go into the new year, as we round off this year, there are certain things that will help you in your, in your vocation. There are certain things that will help you in your business. There are certain things that will help you in your career. Why not ask questions? Improve on yourself. Yesterday's knowledge will not sustain you today. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 13 says, Therefore my people have gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. So that tells me that ignorance is a pathway to shame. Every time you don't know, you, you, shame is around you. Amen. When you don't know what you're supposed to know, it is a shameful thing. So when we talk about glory, it cuts across every aspect of our life, spiritual, physical. Amen. And it's important for us to, to, to yield, to respond to every instruction that is coming our way. And I pray that tonight the Lord is taking us to another level in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's rise on our feet. Let's rise on our feet as we take some prayer points here. Amen. As we go into prayer, I want us to appreciate the Lord for sending us his word again this evening. 
He has sent us his word with a purpose. Let's just appreciate him. And while we do that, I don't want to assume that we are all born again. Even though it's a special program, but then, in case you are there, you, you, are, you want to give your life to Jesus, you want to accept him as your Lord and your Savior, you want him to take over the, 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 the leadership of your life, you have been doing it all by yourself since January. I mean, what a beautiful time to surrender to him. Maybe somebody just told you about this program and you are here this evening. I'd like to give you an opportunity to give your life to Jesus. Do we have anybody like that? Because whatever prayer that we pray, will not, God will not answer such, except you are identified with him. Anybody like that, you want to give your life to Jesus? Anyone? Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to pray and say to God, say, Father, Father. are we ready to pray now? Say, Father, Father. please give me the grace for obedience to will and to do the instruction that will terminate shame in my life. Hold on. Pra praise the Lord. Now, I said something earlier that for every next phase, there's an instruction. For those people to enjoy that kind of wine, they told them, go and pour what, go and fill the water pot. And Mary already entered and said, whatever he tells you to do, do it. So if there are certain instructions. Maybe God has been telling you something since January up to this moment and you are not listening. Maybe from the beginning of this December and he's telling you you are, you are not listening. Maybe somebody, you have been, you, your tithes, you have been paying 9% instead of 10%. Maybe they are, you have been, not, God has been nudging you, go for evangelism and you are not going. Maybe that is where you, we, the, that destiny helper that you are praying for, maybe that destiny helper is out there and is waiting for you to bring him to church. So whatever God has been nudging you, whatever God has been telling you to do, tell God this hour, the Father, give me the grace to obey you, to obey you to will and to do. That instruction that will terminate shame in my life. Father, give me, O oh Lord, this evening, in the name of Jesus. Lord, give me the grace, O oh Lord, the grace for obedience, grace for obedience, in the name of Jesus, to do that which is required of me, in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace for obedience, O oh Lord, release unto me, in the mighty name of Jesus. Release unto me, in the name of Jesus. Release unto me, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. The grace for obedience. Father, release unto me, in the mighty name of Jesus. Release unto me, in the name of Jesus. Release unto me, in in the mighty name of Jesus, release unto me, O Lord, grace for obedience. In the mighty name of Jesus, grace for obedience. In the name of Jesus, grace for obedience. In the name of Jesus, Father, release unto me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, to obey you, to do that instruction, to carry out that instruction. In the name of Jesus, it may be shameful. Father, give me the grace to do it. Father, it may not be popular. Give me the grace to do it. It may look stupid. Father, give me the grace to do it, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, give me the grace, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, give me the grace, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, give me the grace, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Jehovah. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Psalm 57, verse 8. Psalm 57, verse 8 says, Awake, my glory. Awake, lute and harp. I will awake, I will, I will awaken them. We are going to pray. You know, when a man's glory is asleep, that means that such a life is dormant. In, in banking, there's what they call dormant account. The account has not witnessed any transaction. So it go, even though the account is still there, but it is not active, it has become dormant. So some glories are sleeping. We are going to talk to God and say, Father, awake my glory. Awake my glory and revive the sleeping giant in me today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, awake my glory, O Lord. Awake my glory, O Lord. Revive the sleeping giant in me. In the name of Jesus. Awake my glory, O Lord. Awake my glory, O Lord. Awake my glory, O Lord. Tonight, awake my glory. Revive the sleeping giant in me. In the name of Jesus. Revive the sleeping giant in me. In the name of Jesus. Revive the sleeping giant in me. In the name of Jesus. Awake my glory. Lord, awake my glory tonight. Lord, every sleeping giant to me. Lord, awake them. Let my glory be awakened, O oh Lord. Let my glory be awakened, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, awake my glory. In the name of Jesus, awake my glory. In the name of Jesus, awake my glory. In the name of Jesus, Father, awake my glory. Father, wake up every sleeping giant in me. In the name of Jesus, Father, awake my glory. In the name of Jesus, awake my glory. In the name of Jesus, awake my glory, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, revive every sleeping giant in me. In the name of Jesus, revive every sleeping giant in me. In the name of Jesus, revive every sleeping giant in me. In the name of Jesus, awake my glory. Awake my glory. Awake my glory. 
In the name of Jesus, awake my glory. In the name of Jesus, awake my glory. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Jehovah. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now, the beauty of glory is in its manifestation. It is possible for somebody to have glory, and yet that glory is not manifesting. That means such glory is useless. In, in Zechariah chapter 1, Zechariah chapter 1, verse 21, the Bible says, And I said, What are these coming to do? So he said, These are the horns that scatter Judah, so that no one could lift up his head. But the craftsmen are coming to terrify them, to cast out the horns of the nations that lifted up their horn against the land of Judah to scatter it. Judah had glory, but there were, there were certain things that were preventing the glories from manifesting. We are going to pray and talk to God and say, Father, every evil hand, individual or group covering my glory, destroy them tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Father, every evil hand, every individual, every group, every policy that is covering my glory, Lord, destroy them tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, whatever it is, O oh Lord, that is not allowing my glory to manifest, Lord, tonight, destroy them in the name of Jesus. 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 Every policy, every law, every situation, every individual, every group, Father, that is covering my glory, every evil hand that is covering my glory, Father, destroy them tonight in the name of Jesus. 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 Father, destroy them tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, destroy them tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, destroy them tonight, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, every evil hand, O oh Lord. Every evil hand, O oh Lord. Every individual, every situation, every circumstance, every policy that is covering my glory, that is not allowing my glory to manifest. Lord, in the name of Jesus, destroy them. In the name of Jesus, destroy them. In the name of Jesus, destroy them. In the name of Jesus, destroy them, O oh Lord. Father, destroy them tonight. In the name of Jesus, destroy them tonight. In the name of Jesus, destroy them tonight. In the name of Jesus, Father, destroy them tonight, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Jehovah. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Some people are not praying. Amen. See, there are certain blessings that are due to certain age group, there are certain age brackets. There are certain things that you want to do at 20. There are certain things you want to do at 25. There are certain things you want to do at 30. And when those things are not there, they become shameful. For example, if you're supposed to be married and there's a little delay, when people come together, that's why some people, you don't see them during alumnus meeting and all of that. They, because they know that the next thing they will ask is, how is your family? Are you married now? Where are you? What do you do now? So when certain things are missing, and you, that's why you see some people, they bow down their head in shame. But tonight, every head that is bowed down in shame, the Lord is going to lift them up in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pray and say, Father, every glory that is due to my age, spiritually, socially, materially, release unto me tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that is due to my age, O oh Lord. Father, you release to me tonight every glory that is due to my age, financially, spiritually, Father, socially, Lord, release unto me, maritally, release unto me, spiritually, release unto me, financially, release unto me, in the name of Jesus, academically, release unto me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, every glory that is due to my age, every glory that is due to my status, that you release unto me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, release unto me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, release unto me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, release unto me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, release unto me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, release unto me, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, release unto me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Release unto me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Release unto me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Release unto me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Release unto me, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Release unto me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Release unto me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Release unto me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Release unto me, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. 
two more, then we will close. There are certain forces that are contending. They know. You know, they are stargazers. There are so many things that happen in the, in the, in the, in the occultic world. They see certain things. They, they sense certain things. They perceive certain things. I want you to pray and say, Father, destroy every force that is contending with the manifestation of my glory to my world in the name of whether internal or external lord destroy them tonight in the mighty name of jesus destroy them tonight in the name of jesus destroy them tonight in the name of jesus destroy them tonight every force that is contending with the manifestation of my glory father destroy them tonight in the name of jesus father destroy them tonight in the name of jesus father destroy them tonight in the name of jesus father destroy them tonight in the name of jesus father destroy them tonight in the name of jesus father destroy them tonight in the name of jesus every force every force every force that is contending with my with the manifestation of my glory father destroy them tonight oh lord in the name of jesus destroy them tonight oh lord whether they are domestic whether they are external whether they are internal father destroy them in the name of jesus destroy them in the name of jesus thank you jehovah blessed be your name oh lord in jesus mighty name we have prayed David could play instrument very well. Joseph could interpret dreams. Esther was beautiful. But they needed platforms for those glory to manifest. I want you to pray and talk to God. That Father, as I go into 2023, give me a platform for the manifestation of my glory. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as I go into 2023, oh Lord, give me a platform for the manifestation of my glory. In the name of Jesus. That which you have deposited in me. That giant that you have awakened. Lord, give me a platform for the expression. Give me a platform for the manifestation. In the name of Jesus. Give me a platform, oh Lord, for the manifestation. In the name of Jesus. Give me a platform, oh Lord, for the expression. In the name of Jesus. Give me a platform, oh Lord, for the manifestation of your glory upon my life for the manifestation of that you have deposited in me in the name of Jesus Lord create a platform for me for expression create a platform for me for manifestation in the name of Jesus create a platform for me oh Lord for expression thank you Jehovah blessed be your name oh Lord in Jesus mighty name we have prayed almighty father king of kings we bless your name we appreciate you you are a faithful God. You have not left yourself without a witness. Daddy, glory be to your name and the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for five nights of glory. Thank you, Father, for the grand finale. Thank you, Father, for that which you have deposited in our lives today already. Daddy, glory be to your name and the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, as we have declared tonight, let it be unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever has contended with our glory before now, Lord, Today marks their end in the mighty name of Jesus. According to your word, this day, the 30th day of December, 2022, you have rolled away the reproach of the past from our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, as we enter the 2023, the platform for the glory that you have deposited in us to manifest, for that giant that, is our way, that, that you are waking up in us to manifest, Daddy, release unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. No more shame in the name of Jesus. No more reproach in the name of Jesus. We are moving from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. From glory to glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah. Blessed be your name, O Lord. For in Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we have prayed. Somebody shout hallelujah. Are you giving it to him or to God? Let's give it to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. He has done great things in our midst tonight. Appreciate him for who he is. Appreciate him for what he has done. Appreciate him for the breakthrough. Appreciate him for the 11 hours and miracle. The one he has delivered into our hands today. Appreciate him. He is the Lord. He shall get none. He is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Thank you, King of Glory, for we are praying in Jesus' name. The Bible says, "He that watered shall be watered." Let's stretch forth our hands to the servant of Living God. 
and begin to decree that the Lord will move his ministry from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Let's decree upon him. He has watered us. Let's pray. Let's pray concerning him and his family that the Lord will move them from glory to glory. That the hands of the Lord will be upon them for good in the name of Jesus. That the Lord will take them to places. He will take his ministry to places in the name of Jesus. He has decreed upon us tonight that none of his word will fall to the ground in the name of Jesus. Every king who Zion on his way, Father, let it die in the name of Jesus. Every man or woman that will stand against your way, that will stand against you, that will not allow you to move forward, in such King Uzziah would die. Let it die now. Let it die now. Let it die now. In the name of Jesus, the God we serve is a shame Buddha. Let's pray that the Lord will Buddha whatever that may constitute the shame in your life, in your home, in your, in your ministry. Father, approved by fire. Or prove by fire, or prove by fire in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, terminate shame, terminate reproach. Ah, on his way in the name of Jesus. Let the decree upon his children that the Lord will bless his children in the name of Jesus. That his children will stand out among their peers in the name of Jesus. They shall be the head and not the tail in the name of Jesus. Let's decree upon his wife the wisdom to rule, to stand out, to be on top. That the Lord will release upon her in the name of Jesus. That the Lord will take their ministry to places. Thank you, King of Glory. For we are prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. And so daddy wants to say thank you because you reign and rule in the affairs of men. Thank you, daddy, for reigning in this sanctuary. Thank you for the 11 hours of miracle. Thank you for shame and reproach that you have rolled away already. Daddy, we are here to appreciate you. We are here to lift up your name on earth because there is none like you. There is no rock like our God. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we gave you praise. We say may your name be praised forever in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, that which, oh God, your son has decreed tonight, Lord. Let it come to pass in the name of Jesus. We want to testify of your faithfulness. Put your testimony in our mouth in the name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. For we are prayed in Jesus' name. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Praise God, church. Praise the living Jesus. Are we blessed? If we are blessed, we want to be, we should be on our feet now to give our offering to God. Tonight, the offering you are giving for the last Friday in the month of December 2022. This Friday will go, we will never see it again. We only see the Fridays in 2023. So you are going to send that offering. Please, can we be on our feet? And we need the choir to take off. Uh, the offering we are going to give tonight, you are going to send this offering on Aaron to what you're expecting God in your life in the coming year. The God Almighty we are serving single-handedly have carried us on his eagle wings till today. Many that saw yesterday are not alive today. It is not of our righteousness, but the mercy of God. So take that offering, speak to the offering, and decree what you want God to do in your family in this coming year. That thing that has been a challenge in your life that you have been calling on to God, tell God tonight as I saw into your vineyard, let it come to an end. Let those doors be blown open unto you. All those doors we are knocking all this while, that is reducing the number of the members in the church, that is making our brethren to start going back to Nigeria, let us speak to the offering tonight. Send it on Aaron and see God in action.
My hands are filled with the blessings of the Lord. With the blessings of the Lord. My hands are filled. My hands are filled with the blessings of the Lord. With the blessings of the Lord. Surely must be. the name of Jesus. Almighty God in heaven, we thank you for a time like this. Daddy, we give your praise and honor because you are a faithful God. Thank you for being the strength of our lives. Thank you for being there for us at every point in time. Daddy, we adore you because you are worthy and you are most adorable God. You are awesome. You are wonderful. Thank you for this offering we have brought before you. Lord, we have spoken over the offering by the authority in the name of Jesus. Let your words find expressions in our lives in the name of Jesus. Every door we have asked to close from today, let it remain closed in Jesus' name. And let every door we have asked to open unto us, Jehovah, by the authority in the word of God and in the name of Jesus, let those doors blow open in Jesus' name. And in blessing, Lord Jehovah, bless us, bless your church in the name of Jesus. Because you are Jehovah Jeshurun, the one that rides on the wings of the wind. By the authority in the name of Jesus, every policy, every plans of the wicked consigning us, consigning our household, consigning the church as a whole. By your authority, Jehovah, let all their evil be thwarted and be destroyed in Jesus' name. Move us forward by your power. Move us forward by your authority in the name of Jesus. Bless the works of our hands, O God. Open doors where there is no way for us. Make ways for us, O God. Because you are the way maker, O Lord Jehovah. Make ways and let your name alone be glorified. Thank you, awesome Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Praise the Lord, church. Now I want to give the announcement for tomorrow is our crossover service. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. The God that made us to see today will carry us through the year ahead of us in Jesus' name. Our tomorrow crossover is taking off by 9 p.m. So please be here on time. Before you are here tomorrow, the angels of God that is here to dispatch our blessings for 2023 will be here before us. So be here on time, 9 p.m. exactly. Not Nigerian time, but exact time, 9 p.m., the program takes off. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sunday evening is our church picnic. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm glad to hear that. We have a gathering on Sunday. We are going to have it at Almanza Waterfront by 5 p.m. Please endeavor to be there. Whatever you have pledged to bring, make it available, we all gather together and share the love. Praise God. There's no service in the morning on Sunday. And our Thanksgiving service for the year will be the following Sunday on 8th of January. Praise the living Jesus. So for God being so good to us, that coming Sunday, put on your dancing shoes 
Prepare your thanksgiving offering from your home. You prepare and come. Not when you get here, you'll be thinking, oh, will I give this, will I give that? Prepare yourself because the Lord that have kept us, so many storms, God have waged the storms for us. Many waters have passed over the bridge, but God did not allow the water of life to carry us away. So prepare for the thanksgiving. Wholeheartedly make up your mind to come here, give all it takes to God to say, Daddy, thank you. Praise God. Are we blessed tonight? So by the time we are here in the crossover night, if there are other things or other announcements, we will be, it will be made known to us. Praise God. So I want to pray now because we are closing. Shall we close our eyes? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, eternal rock of ages, our Lord and our maker, we thank you. The Lord of our life will bless you. Our backbone, we adore you. The one that says, and it comes to pass, that we appreciate you. The one that is what we never fall to the ground. Lord, we give you all the praise and honor. As we, your children, have come tonight to hear your word. Father, move us from glory to glory to your glory in Jesus' name. Father, anything, oh God, that stands as shame in our life, by the authority in the word of God tonight, Lord, let it be terminated forever to your glory alone in the name of Jesus. We commit our brethren that traveled home for celebration of one thing or the other. Daddy, we ask that your presence will abide with them. When they will come back, they will come back safely and they will meet us safe also in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, as we are departing tonight, we are not departing from your presence. Let your presence continue to abide with us now and forever in the name of Jesus. Father, every conspiracy of the wicked, every art, every shrine, every coven, every coven, every manipulation from the pit of hell, working negativity against us tonight, we bring them under the subjection of the shed blood on the cross in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way in our lives tonight. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's share the grace. Our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever Amen. Praise the living Jesus. Praise God.